So, um, good day guys. So, pasensya na. Medyo na-busy ako. Na, <clears throat> medyo natagalan bago ako naka-upload ulit. Um, last two months pa ata ako hindi nakapag-upload ng bagong tutorial. So, ngayon lang ulit ako nagka um, nagka time so ngayon uh, mag isusolve natin tong problem na to so um, uh, this problem um, here page 66 so ito yung figure nya ito yung um, problem so at trust The truss shown in figure 323 is supported by hinge at A and a roller at B. A load of 2,000 pounds is applied at C. Determine the reaction at A and B. So, may um, answers na tayo dito. So, ipuprove na lang natin kung um, or isosolve natin at titignan kung correct yung magiging Um, solutions natin so yun determine determine reaction at A and oops okay B yun so <clears throat> ito yung roller at point A and at uh, at point B and hinge so i-zoom na lang natin konti no kasi medyo malaya yun so yan so <clears throat> meron tayong force na 2000 dito sa point C uh, with a 30 degree angle from the x axis so alam natin na kapag ganit medyo uh, kapag may angle yung force or pag ganito yung force is alam natin may x and y component siya at um, x and y I mean yes sa uh, x and y component ng force na to so yung 2000 pag i gawin natin siyang um, x and y component magiging cosine of 30 degrees so itong sa y component niya is 2000 sine of 30. So, yun. Bakit ko siya break down to components? Kasi mag um moment tayo at point A. So, kailangan kailangan natin yung components nila para magamit natin yung distance ng itong 40 and itong 15. So, <clears throat> so bakit ako mag Uh, mag-moment sa point A kasi, um, di ba alam natin na kapag hinge dalawa yung um, forces dyan so meron tayong tagay natin ito yung R, A, Y and maybe ito yung R, A, X so hinge, always yan dalawa yung um, forces acting on that support so <clears throat> point B sa roller naman alam natin na isa lang yan and always yan perpendicular sa um, plane so ito yung RB All, isa na lang yan siya kasi roller so ngayon mag moment ako sa A kasi alam natin na ang magiging <coughs> ang magiging ano na lang natin is RB so hindi tayo masyadong mahirapan sa pag-solve kasi pag dito tayo sa point na to or any point ng um, figure na to so magiging dalawa yung announce natin so mas mahirap siyang isolve so ngayon let's start moment tayo sa point A so summation moment at point A equal to zero. so always natin yan equate to zero kasi para maging Um, equilibrium yung ano natin system so <clears throat> ngayon um, ang forces natin is RB and this um, 
two forces or components. So, <clears throat> um, pag naalala nyo, uh, para sa mga hindi masyadong um, nakapaget sa moment, so, um, insert ko lang to. So, pag, pag, sabing, pag sinabing magmo-moment tayo at this point, so, Yeah, ito yung ini-imagine ko personally gagawa ko ng circle so for example ito yung point A ito yung force for example so ilalagay ko yung force dito sa side ng circle na to so this is the RB so ngayon para alam malaman natin kung ah, by the way itong itong part na to is para malaman lang kung negative or positive yung um, sa moment natin yung moment ng RB so uh, alam natin kapag pag in-imagine natin ganito circle tapos may force dyan and yung force sa tama sa side ng circle na to so ang um, rotation ng circle na to is magiging counterclockwise so sa um, equation natin yung RB is negative RB times yung distance from RB to um, from B to A so which is 30 then yung force na to so y component nya is 2000 sin 30 so again magiging ito yung 2000 sin 30 so ito yung A so pagtatama yung ang force na to sa, sa gilid or sa edge ng circle na to so magiging yung rotation nya is positive so magiging plus 2000 sin of um, 30 times yung distance so dito sya so 10 plus 30 so 40 then yung 2000 or yung x component ng itong force na to so again uh, so imagine natin ganyan yan So, <clears throat> magiging positive rotation pa rin siya. So, 2,000 cosine of 30. So, times 10 plus 5 kasi nandito siya. Eh. So, yung distance nito. So, magiging 15. Equals to 0. So, <clears throat> so, itong RB transpose sa kabila. So, RB transpose sa kabila, so ito na siya then, divide natin both sides by 30 so, yung answer is um, 2000 sin 30 times 40 2000 cosine of 30 times 15 so, divide natin yan by 30 so yun, 2 2199.36 yun so ito yung RB natin so now to solve for the RA so <clears throat> um, hindi na tayo mag moment pa sa point na to kasi alam natin magiging um, to announce tayo so mag sa sum up forces x and y na lang tayo mas madali so first para mahanap natin yung r a y so summation of forces y equals to zero then so magiging r a y plus yung r b natin two one nine nine point thirty six so minus minus to 2,000 sign up 30 kasi 0 now yung RAY so transpose natin to so magiging positive 2199.36 minus 2,000 I mean baliktad no <clears throat> ito magiging negative ito magiging positive kasi ito transpose natin to sa kabila so 2,000 sign up 30 So, zero, so magiging so, yun yung RAY natin is 199 hindi, hindi ko na ilalagay yung negative sign kasi yung 
yeah, indication ng negative sign dito is yung um, um, direction ng force na to. Meaning, itong uh, direction ko is wrong. I mean, yung um, pag-assume ko ng direction ng RA, Y is wrong. So, dapat ito is going down. Ito dapat yung um, direction ng RAY ko. So, going down. RAY. Then, next is <coughs> yung RAX. So, summation of forces X equals to 0. So, um, negative RAX. Ito, going to the left is negative. So, meron ding iba na nagbaliktad yung pag-assume nila. So, nakadepende talaga yan kung saan ka mas, um, saan mo mas gustong mag-assume. So, sa akin is negative. Uh, negative rotation is negative. I mean, counterclockwise rotation is negative. And left and going down is negative also. So, then plus um, 2,000 cosine of 30 equals to 0. So, transpose uh, so 2,000 cosine of 30. So, 1732 RAX equals to 1732.05 pounds. So, correct. Correct. Meaning, positive. Correct yung assumption natin ng um, direction ng RAX. So, going to the left yan sya. now so uh, itong nasolve natin na RAY and RAX is yung um, component ng ng um, result uh, I mean ng reaction ng point A so hindi pa yan sya yung final na <coughs> reaction so alam naman natin to solve for the reaction ng components or yung resultant ng components is yung uh, gagamit tayo ng Pythagorean theorem so 199.36 squared plus 1732.05 squared so yun ito yung RA so yung reaction at A so 1199.36 squared Plus 1732.05 square. So, yun. 2106.76. 206.76. So, ito yun. Ito yung <coughs> um, reaction at point A. So, pero, para makompleto natin yung mga unknowns, syempre, hahanapin natin yung angle nito. So, paano ba? So, um, tan, theta, just equal to um, yung y component. So, y over x. So, tan, theta. So, yung, um, yung theta is just equal to so, y component ng RA is um, 1199.36 and x component is 1732.05 equal so 199.36.05 so yun 34.7 so ito yung 34.7 degrees so ito yung angle ng force na to or ng resultant. So, um, based dito sa um, direction na to, so, going down and going to the left. So, we can conclude na yung resultant natin is down left. Diba? With an angle of 34.7. So, ito yung angle ng RA natin. So, yun. So, all in all, ito, ito yung um, solutions.
solution natin for this problem. So, RB, 2199.36 pounds. So, automatically, going up yan. <coughs> then, solve nat sinolve natin yung um, Y component ng um, reaction of A. So, RAY is going down and RAX going to the left and Pythagorean theorem para masolve yung resultant nila and to uh, finally solve sa um, yung RA so then hinanap natin yung um, angle ng force na to so 34.7 then based dito sa direction ng dalawang components ng um, resultant so alam natin na yung RA is going down left with 34.7 degrees from the x axis so yun so um, ito yung yung solutions so yun guys so pasensya na kung ngayon lang ulit na ko nakabalik at nakapag upload ng tutorial ko so if may tanong kayo may med ah wait so i-check natin kung tama yung sagot natin no baka um hindi siya same sa book so sana yun ah ito so sa book is so oh correct so yung angle of 34.7 so nakuha natin yung angle yung RB RB is 2199.36 sa book is 2200 so yun konting difference lang then yung RA is 2100 uh, pounds down to the left so down to the left correct tayo down to the left and with so medyo may difference lang ng konti no 2106.76 and sa book is 21 2100 pounds so all in all correct naman yung naging um, solution natin so pwede, di, pwede nyo din i um, double check um, pwede nyo isolve ulit kung ano tong nasolve ko para ma check natin baka nagkamali ako ng ano dito kaya naging 2106 yung answer natin so yun guys so kung may <coughs> tanong kayo may suggestion um, so you can comment down below or um, pwede nyong isearch yung name ko sa facebook and um, message me so hindi naman ako snubber no so ngayon lang ulit ako nakabalik kasi medyo na busy sa work and um, malapit na din yung um, klase natin so today is um, August 26 2021 55pm ko tong ginawa bagong bago lang so if nagustuhan nyo tong video na to so please don't um, forget to subscribe and um, hit the notification bell para ma um, update kayo sa um, future uh, tutorials ko so Thank you guys and God bless.